Now, another common mistake that students make during the exam is that when they're in their station, they're not actually listening to the patient. They've already got this pre-prepared interview, they've got their routine, they've got their script that they're going to ask a thousand questions, and when it comes down to what the patient is telling them, they don't take it in. A lot of people, when they're nervous and they're under pressure, will fall back on their uh, scripts that they've built in their mind in terms of the questions they'll ask. Um, and what happens sometimes is that you don't actually give the patient enough time to express themselves or when they are actually expressing themselves you're already as the student trying to think of what will be my next question oh my god they're about to finish with their answer what's going to be my question and the problem with that is is as you're thinking of that you're not actually listening to the patient and they might be giving you a really important symptom or a sign that could be the key to the station and you're too busy thinking about what should I ask next you need to have a framework of questioning for major symptoms major signs major cases so that it does give you some time to digest what the patient is saying but actually you've got the framework in the back you know what you're going to ask next and what you're essentially doing is picking up on certain cues that the patient is giving you so for example if the patient says uh, doc my wife's been pestering me to come in uh, i'm really not that worried you realize that their wife is worried it's really important to go in and explore why is your wife worried about this those kind of things where you're picking up on the cues of the patient is what will separate you from from the people that will get average marks. You want to be near the top of the marks. You want to be that person that's a detective in their history taking. You want to explore every rock and you want to turn it over and find out exactly why somebody's mentioned something they've mentioned. So to feel comfortable in doing that, you need to have a good framework. And good frameworks of questioning don't come about magically. It takes hard work, it takes preparation, and it takes practice. Once you've sat down and practiced with your peers certain cases and you find out that there are certain times you hesitate or certain scenarios where you're not entirely sure what to ask next, it's better that you're doing it with your mates, you know, in a group, even if it is a bit embarrassing, than in exam situations where you're under pressure and at a time where you may be very, very nervous. My tip would be practice these kind of frameworks of questioning and during your exam, be in the moment. They're not gonna hide things. So if they do mention something, it's often for a reason. Try and explore those issues.